And everybody is ready to go for this matchup between the San Diego Chargers and the Philadelphia Eagles here at Lincoln Financial Field. Back in your days when you had to take on a team from the AFC, didn't know them all that well. What was it like as we have this little interconference matchup today? Well, I thought back in those days, Jim, we were about ready to show them what toughness and hard hitting was. Uh, today it's a little different, but I'll tell you this, this NFC team, they are a hard hitting bunch. Tackle just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Gates is a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. To the ground here. He's got some daylight. Solid chunk of yardage picked up by Ryan Matthews. This gives an offense a lot of momentum. It gives everybody confidence. This running back, he's sitting there going, keep giving it to me, man, because I can make it happen. First down here after the run. Woodhead's got the carry once more. you got to know if you're going to run the football, you're going to have a lot of short gains. There's going to be a lot of plays that look ugly. That's just the way it is. got to live with it and know what's coming in the future. And speaking of McCoy, when we would meet with him in his days as the offensive coordinator at Denver, it was easy to see that you were just sitting right across from a future NFL head coach. Yeah, I think that's true. I think what's really been impressive and probably one of the biggest reasons why he was selected to be the head coach of the San Diego Chargers, that he ran two distinct different offenses, one with Tim Tebow, one with Peyton Manning. So that shows you he can teach it round or he can teach it flat. That's a great quality to have as a head football coach. Quarterback sneak. Well, when you talk about edge players in the NFL, that means play on the edge, rush the quarterback, and stop the outside runs. How about that play by the defensive end? Lloyd's lined up now as a slot receiver. And a completion this time, gains 12. Well, it's always about risk and reward. It is a risk to go for it on fourth down. When you pick it up, you feel like a genius, don't you? They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Trying to overpower him. Here's the run out of the strong eye. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Second down and six after the running play on first down. Well, it's all about timing. I got to tell you something. The safety did a wonderful job timing the snap count that time. Caught everybody off guard, and he gets the sack on the QB. Woodheads, a running back normally, but this time lined up as a receiver in the slot. The wide receiver in motion. From the gun, fakes the throw. Under fire all day. This might not be nice to say, but every once in a while it's kind of fun to watch the quarterback get sacked like that. Good job by the defensive end. And lining up for a 44-yard field goal.
the kick is good. You always want to be rewarded for a nice drive in a football game, even when it's a field goal, because you've made a lot of good plays, you've executed them, you got yourself in position to get some points, and that field goal just reinforces everything. Here's the quick toss. And the tackle's made. The offense will start their drive from about the 31. The Chargers' defense now is going to go nickel. McCoy is going to take the handoff now. Anytime you see a long run for a touchdown, what you got to look for is blocking downfield. Nice job by the uh, wide receivers and everybody hustling, making a block and a long touchdown run. They'll get set, looking to convert on this two-point try. Toss to the outside. They failed to convert on the two-point try, so they'll just have to settle for the six. He's put the ball on the tee, and he's about to kick off. They're setting up the return. Gets out past the 30 and brought down at the 35. Number 33. They face first down. They'll go ground. Gain of eight. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Easy catch there. No one near him. When you see the defensive back on the inside of a wide receiver, you have a corner route on, make sure you throw it towards the sideline. Let the wide receiver outrun the defensive back, and he makes a nice catch there. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Matthew, he's brought to a halt. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run, nowhere for the running back to go, and they stop him for a short game. Offense lines up here. Second and eight. Eyeing that left side. That catch gives them a first down. Nice tackle. Well, if you want to be a good play action pass team, it's always nice to have a good running game. Make the defense dig in and try to stop your run. When they do that, you pull them. You fake it. You throw it down the field. That, that's, that's about as easy as it gets. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Welcome back to the action. Today, it's been all about the defenses. lined up in the slot and the second quarter is underway with this snap touchdown San Diego Chargers good job that time by the offense scoring that touchdown and putting them ahead and when you get ahead in a football game the National Football League it makes you relax and you play better Nick Novak ready for the kickoff Always a threat, and he'll start his return now. And the tackle's made. The offense will start their drive from about the 31. Nickel formation for the defense here. He's into the open. 
Running backs, they love counter runs. They know what a defense has been over pursuing, so they make that fake one way, and when they cut it back, there's usually a great running lane there. Second and six. They deck him in the backfield. Got to give the defense credit here, Jim Nance. Good job on the option play. They just attacked the offense. The quarterback kept the football, but there's nowhere to run, and he lost yard. Vick got it in the gun. He'll throw it over the middle. Caught. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. I love seeing the post route against defenses that are up there being aggressive, trying to stop the run. You go down the field. How about that stick that falls on the ground? And it's a takeaway. And he's brought to the ground. Great job by the defense, forcing and recovering the fumble. Said the appropriate word there, forcing. The hit was so solid and so good. The offensive player had no, he had no choice. He had to give up the football. Hold on a minute. They're going to stop play and take another look at that last one. I think what we need to do here, let's stop it when the knee... the ground and once we stop it let's look at the football does he have possession of it completely at that time if he does then it's going to be down the runner will be down before the fumble occur the chargers with a nickel look here on defense here's the give to LaShawn McCoy in these type of situations when you're losing the game it's third and long don't try to be a hero because when you try to be a hero, it's going to lead to a turnover. Then you really will be in trouble. Third and 11. And here's the pass incomplete. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. Michael Vick will be under center. Jeremy Macklin makes the grab. What was the defense doing that time on that fourth down try by the offense? Disorganized, not ready, and they give it up. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. That reception gave them the first down. First and goal. Pitches it back. Jams it across the goal line for the touchdown. That was just an awful job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first and goal. Well, you know it's going to be a run, or I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready. They get overpowered, and they give up the running touchdown. The Chargers ready to return the kick. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23.
Phillip Rivers has it under center. First and ten, setting up screen. Under fire on that throw. in the slot second and ten challenging the defenders to the right side hauls it in for the first down when you talk about the play action pass game it's really when you call it you got to be in a situation where the defense is thinking run and when they are do you have the courage or I should say the smarts to fake the run and throw the football good call that time by the offense looks like they're gonna run a little wildcat here here's the quick toss and the tackle is made right around the 39-yard line. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. And Matthews is lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. The Chargers now move the chains, muscles through the defender. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. Allen's a receiver in the slot. First and ten. Rivers is play action. The reception, easy, wide open. Oh, uh, there's nothing like a play action pass. When the offensive lineman make it look like it's a run, the linebackers are all near the line of scrimmage and easy to throw down the field for that completion. After the long game, let's see what they do here. They motion the receiver around to the other side. Two-minute warning. First down, following the long play. Woodhead, they run right. Puts up six. Well, when your offense goes out there and scores a touchdown to put you ahead, it's got to give a big lip to the defense. they got to get excited and go out there and hold that lead. Lining up now for the two. Patriot, Patriot, Patriot! Gun, 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 gun! Hey, left man, left. 380! Watch him now, Barney, Barney! He was skinny! Good, he was skinny, he was skinny! Thank you, man! It's Woodhead, now cut, and so they convert it here on the two-point drive. Chargers getting set for the kickoff. Deshaun Jackson with a chance here on the kickoff. Falls out. The tackle is made. Well, that's nothing but just, uh, that, that's just luck. That's all you can say. You're the return team. They fumble the football. It bounces out, and they get it back. they lucky there. McCoy's lined up in a single back formation. First and ten. Throws to the right. Running to the right. Picks up the first and still has some room to run. Good job by the running back that time. Finding the open hole and picking up those extra yards. This play set up by the long gainer. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Well, when you get a couple first downs, it just gives you such great confidence. It makes everybody relax. And I always say this, when you're a relaxed athlete, that's when you play your best. So many things you can do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Two tight ends to second and 13. Going across the middle, catch is made. 
And another name for the fly route, the go route, it's a streak. And that means they want you to be a blue streak, run as fast as you can, get by that defense, and make a big play. That long gain sets them up here on this play. He's brought down at the 25-yard line. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. That leads us to second down. That ball is picked off. Spins away from the hit. Bringing the play to an end. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. And Matthews has shifted from running back to a receiver in the slot. They pounce on him there. The Chargers call a timeout. They're first. This is kind of new to the NFL the last four or five years. We're seeing more and more screens to wide receivers. Good timing, good execution, and good yards picked up. Here's the first snap after the big play. Play fake here. Sticks to his hands. That timeout by the offense. Good job by the quarterback completing that pass against the zone defense. Look for the open space when you throw against zones. That's what he did, and he got the nice completion. Floyd's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Flying into the air and makes the catch. When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, not only are they moving in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest. And Matthews is a running back, but he's in the slot for this play. Why not take one of the best players on your football team, the wide receiver, and throw him some screen passes? It makes sense. Good job. Nice yards picked up. Gates is in the slot here for this play. First and ten, play action. Looking down the field, getting sacked. Got to give the defense a lot of credit here. You want to stop the offense from scoring here with under two minutes to go in the first half. Good pressure on the quarterback, and they take him down behind the line of scrimmage. And that will close out the first half here at the City of Brotherly Love. We'll be back after halftime to Philadelphia for the beginning of the second half. Let's check in now with Danielle Bellini from the sidelines. Guys, I had a chance to speak with Donald Butler at halftime. His team is losing the turnover battle, but the game, guys, is still close. And he told me if he and his teammates can get a turnover in the second half, they feel confident about their shot to win this game. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. Got what he wanted. Touchdown. Well, you got a lead. You drive down the field. You score a touchdown. Now we're going to find out if the other team can stay patient or will they panic? Lining up now for the two-point conversion. Three-step drop. Good guy. Touchdown. Got a two-point conversion. People love to go for two in this game, don't they? Well, they do, and you know what? Now, I guess you and I just can't sit here and blast the coach for a bad decision. When you pick up the two points, you can't complain about what they're trying to do. Nick Novak ready for the kickoff. Here's the quick toss. Ball comes out. They pick up the loose ball, and here they go. What a job by the kicking team. They hustle down the field. They make the big hit.
and they recover the fumble. Officials stop play now. They want to take another look at that last play. Remember, the ground can cause a fumble, Jim. So you have to be down by contact. So here it shows the player was hit. Now did the football come out before his knee hit? Really tough to call. I think they'll stay with the, with the call on the field. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. off the hit. All right, well, I have to say that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know when you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. Phillip Rivers has it under center. First and 10, Ryan Matthews takes the handoff. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight field, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. Lined up in the backfield. Second down and seven. And the give to Ryan Matthews. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. Down to the 15. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Makes a move and he's free. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Second down coming up. Working that left side. They tackle him for a loss. <laughs> On the way, third down. Action fake. Under pressure and incomplete. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Should be what we call a gimme. It converts on the three. Well, that time the offense had great field position. They don't take advantage of it, but at least they get three points. Good job by the kicker coming in and getting some points on the board. Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. Yeah. 
McCoy is out in the slot. First and ten. Looks to his left. He's going to the left. When you're behind in the football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs, good job by the offense. Sean McCoy is in the backfield. Game of six. Quarterback seat cover four. Four defensive backs playing back against the deep passes. They know they're going to look for underneath or crossing routes. That time, a good throw by the quarterback to the receiver going across the field. And a flag is down. Running to his right. Slips past one player. Running it like it's an option play. The defender got caught in the neutral zone right there. That'll cost him five. Yeah, he's a little too anxious. You know, all these defenders, they got one thing in common. You know what that is? They hate quarterbacks. <laughs> they want to get there. A little too nervous there. Gets him caught in the neutral zone. That flag gives them a new set of downs. Double, double, double. Right there, Vic standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Throws a strike. Gains 15. Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside, when you're inside that 20-yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass. They did that time. First and goal. The give. Man, a touchdown. And they cut into that lead. I would bet first and goal that the offense, about 90% of the time, is going to run the football. And what do they do here? They run it, and they get it done. That is power of football at its best. They're going to bypass the point after and try to pick up the two-point conversion. That hurts. The two-point try is denied. The kicking team now getting set here for what looks like an onside kick. And the flag is down. They have the ball back, and the play's continuing. You try the onside kick, and you've got to make sure, first off, that the ball travels 10 yards. That's a penalty. Hey, you know what you say to the kicker here in this situation? If you're the coach, you count to 10. That's how far it's got to go, son. Get the ball 10 yards. Phillip Rivers has it under center. First and 10. They'll give it to the back. Out of the eye. And they came up a yard short. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Nothing like seeing a complete offense. That's what we're watching here today. Yes, we know they can throw it. But what they're showing us here, they can grind out some first downs running the football too. Wide open for the catch. The defense got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. He'll go left. Power surge. Touchdown. You got to give the offensive line just a lot of credit. It's first and goal. They just line up and power the football in there. Nice run, but a great job by the O-line. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history, and they'll go for that two-point conversion. Here's the handoff out of the strong eye. You talk about momentum. That turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. And a touchback.
Foy's in the slot, not in the backfield for this play. Middle, that picks up seven. Good job that time by the offense. Powell run gets him a few yards. Cooper's lined up now as a slot receiver. Second and three. They go up the middle. Ball is out. And the recovery is made by the defense. Well, the one thing we know about the NFL, when you have the football in your hands, they are going to attack it. you got to know that as a ball carrier, protect it a lot better. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Look out. Reverse. He's got room. And he is tackled at the 14. Well, when you got a defense that's not playing the keys to what they're supposed to do the proper way, then you counteract it. And one way to do it is run a reverse. That's why it picked up good yards that time. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Third and two. Watch out. Receiver gets the handoff from the quarterback. People always think like reverses are trick plays. I call them honest plays. And that means keep the defense honest. Make them read their keys. Don't let them just run at the first sight of something. If they overrun, then run the reverse and, and take advantage of it. set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground and a gain of four nice situation here for the offense they're winning the football game now they're in the red zone let's see if they can come up with a play that pulls the defense quarters formation here for the defense second and goal from the five defensive backs out on the field for this one. Third and goal at the five. Woodhead's taking the handoff. Oh my gosh, he should have scored that time. Gets tackled inside the five-yard line. Now we'll see if the offense is good enough to push it in. Quarters formation here for the defense. A little too slow getting set at the line on that one. Still fourth down. Chip shot here. He converts here on the field goal try. When you get great field position, Jim, you got to take advantage of it. The offense didn't do it. I blame the coach. Those were terrible play calls, but a good kick by the kicker. They bring him to the turf. Sean McCoy is in the backfield. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Vick in shotgun formation. The throw to the left. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. Well, it's so hard to do this nowadays to jar the football out of the hands of the receiver. But the defender did it that time. He hit him. That football came loose. Incomplete pass. 
After the incomplete pass, it's third down. Michael Vick will take it from the gun. Makes the catch in the open field. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Vick in shotgun formation. Looking to the right side and throwing. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. Good job that time, Jim, by the defender. He hit that receiver so hard, that football came flying out. That's why it's incomplete. The big hit by the defender. That's second down coming up. Straight ahead. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Third and eight. Jackson's got the cool hands on a pass that had a lot of heat. Well, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up and make the catch. Getting away from the pressure, trying to work that left side. Oh, should have had it. Look the football in. But the gloves these receivers wear, the rules that you can't touch them, there's no excuse for dropping the football. Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. Running back in motion here. Throwing now to his left. No way that would be completed. Got to give the defense a lot, of, a lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field. Nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incompletion. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. It'll be a third and ten. Zeroed in on that one. That's been the story of this game. Another third down conversion to move the chains. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to pack it up. Trying to plow ahead. Popped up the football. The offense was able to recover the ball. There's always a rule on the offensive side when the football is fumbled. Little guys pick it up, fat guys fall on it. Don't try to pick it up if you're one of the fat guys. That time they get it done and recover their own fumble. The long drive continues. We reach the two-minute warning. This long drive continues. Fire it out to the left. The Eagles now move the chains. Anytime you get in the red zone, you want to punch it in there and get seven points. Uh, they're being dominated today. They're down more than seven. But don't worry about it. Score here and just keep playing. LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff. Good job by the offense getting in the red zone. Now you're down some points. You got to find a way to score a touchdown. Play after play after play here on this drive. They're running the option here. Touchdown. Well, it's a nice touchdown drive by the offense. They're still behind. But I got to say this to the defense. You're just giving up. You're letting them march down there and letting them get back in the game. Toughen up and get it done. They'll get set, looking to convert on this two-point try. Left side. So from two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. The Chargers ready to return the kick. This kick will stay on the ground, avoiding a big return. Taken down at about the 33, maybe the 34-yard line.
First down, offense readying for the snap. The receiver has it. It's a reverse. Pick up three. Hard sometimes as an offensive coordinator to call plays to catch the defense off guard when you're winning and it's late in the game. Uh, so they played it very predictable there. The defense was ready. Nowhere to go. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. Second and eight, Browns handed the football. Going to be a tackle for a loss. How about the defensive line? Getting that penetration, getting off the football at the snap, and getting it done, getting in the backfield and making that tackle. After that run, third and eight for the offense. High formation and a handoff. The Eagles are going to use one of the two timeouts they have remaining. Cyphers called on to punt. Fair catch this time. <laughs> Quarters formation here for the defense. Fix looking long. And they can't connect. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down and he's in pain. That's a good no, job. No, no, no. He's able to get up and get off the field. And good. my guess good, is good. he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare good, there, good. no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. They knocked him down behind the line of scrimmage. The Eagles signal for the timeout, and they have none remaining. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. He sends the halfback in motion. Third and 13. And they bring down the quarterback, and it's a three and out for the offense. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. McCoy's a running back normally, but this time lined up as a receiver in the slot. Michael Vick will take it from the gun. He's looking to go down the field here. And it falls incomplete. I think that's the hardest pass a defensive back has to defend. The long throws down the field. You have to wait to the last second to make your play. That time the defensive back did it. What a play. Field goal try coming up by the Chargers. Hits the upright and goes wide of the mark. Oh, I think it's easy to see why he missed his field goal wide, Jim. Look, as he put his plant foot down, it just got too close to the football in bad position, and that's why he missed it wide. And this will probably wrap things up here. First down and 10. To the right side, running a little college-like option. That's going to do it here in this one.
Well, Phil, I enjoyed watching the game with you, and how about a final thought about that victory? Well, you know, Jim, I wish I could say the same thing.